Good morning, Grace Hill. Uh, we're still on Hebrews 12. And uh, the analysis for me um, of, of this verses 1 and 2 that Brad preached on um, a week ago is to do with the race. Uh, I had to ask myself, what race are we running? We are encouraged to run the race, but what race? And then it dawned on me, there's a lot of comparisons we can make. First of all, we mentioned that there's a crowd uh, in any race, as in like the marathon, it's uh, about to happen or has happened. Um, there's a crowd watching and they're cheering on the people running the race. And we know that the people who cheer us on um, is the heaven in the heavenly realm. And then also the people within our own community, our church. Um, if we open to the encouragement and we uh, and we have relationship with each other as a church, um, there lies our our crowd who encourage us. Then you've got the runners. Well, we're all running a race. The Bible says so. Um, and then I, I thought about the fact that um, when you run the race, you don't run it with a whole lot of baggage. You're not carrying a haversack and. A tra you're not running in a track suit and you and you so geared up that you're actually too heavy to do anything um you wear light clothing and you look at all those people who run the run the marathon and they're wearing shorts or whatever you know definitely light clothes and it, it and that's why the analogy is there to shake off the hindrances um because hindrances in our lives are like weights that we carry and uh, sometimes some innocent pleasures can become so time consuming that they take hold of our whole lives. And then there's a way in which we are to run. We run with perseverance, persistence and endurance. We do not stroll along admiring the scenery. There's plenty of time for that when the race is done. And there's a track along which we run. We are, it's set before us. The route is planned. It's not a route that we choose for ourselves, nor can we change it. And um, we are children of God, and we run according to his will and purpose. And there's one who is at the winning point. Um, at the end of the racetrack, there's Jesus. As we've said before, he's the originator of the race, the entire plan of salvation in which we are involved. He's the perfecter. And I think those that's the, that's the an, an analogy that I get out of running a race. It, we, we're not competing with each other. We are doing the work of Christ that he set before us, and we're running together in an encouragement together. And I just pray that you be encouraged today, that you would run your race, knowing you have the church community to support you, and you have Jesus, the originator and perfecter of your faith. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. Take care.